All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yisrael that rule well, and salutations to Yaakim out in the highways and the byways, preaching His word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, this is a uh, GMS Chicago coming at you again with another lesson. And uh, basically, uh, what we're going to go into today um, is going to be about you know money. You know, because money, you know, uh, um, having money is not going off, you know, but if that's what makes it going off, if that, if you, if you start making that your whole interest to so where now you're, you're like what they say, you know, chasing the bag, you know, um, money over everything, you know, MOB and stuff like that. I mean, we, we can't have that mindset in here. If you want to get money, go ahead, get money, but that shouldn't you be your, your all you're everything. Your everything should be this truth, you know. So when it comes to money, hey, we we gotta have that that uh that balance that, you know um, that be happy with what we have. And whenever the Lord does give us an opportunity to get more, then hey, we'll take it. But don't set your heart upon. Con, uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven verse twelve. For wisdom is a defense. And money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. You see? Because, you know, m money is for, um, you know, to to do things in this world, on this side, you know. But wisdom, could, you know, ap applies to both. And it leads to everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? So if you have wisdom, you're on the right path, man. Because all, all other paths lead to death. You know what I'm saying? Especially the love of money, you know? So you can have money, you know, is that a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? You could be a... a there was wealthy uh, examples in the scriptures, you know, of men, men of the Lord that had money, you see? But it's this wisdom that is above it all, man. Because mm -hmm. yeah, at the end of the day, everything is, everything is going to be taken away. None of this we're going to be able to take to the kingdom. Nothing. Clothes... The, the, the clothes that we wear, the bed we sleep in, the TVs, you know, whatever we have as our possessions, it's not going to go in, in the chariots, man. So, uh, you know, the only thing that's going to go in the chariots is what is wisdom. The wisdom that we have. We have by Shimei Um Was that in there? Yeah. This is John 6 and 27. It says, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. So even though it's, it's a defense, yet yeah, you know, have money, say, uh, save money, you know, um, uh, uh, get money so you can pay for the things that you need, but don't labor for it to the point where now you're forgetting about everything else and all you're doing is working fucking twenty four seven nonstop and figuring out different ways to make money and you know, busying yourself with it, cause what at the end of the day all of that is gonna perish. But the meat that they endure it forever is what this truth. So if it, it, uh, uh, well, we sh our whole mind should be upon this truth, you know. S sometimes it, it, it's good to uh, just be um, um, how do you say it? Uh, uh, just have enough, you know. A, a lot of times we want to have more than enough. But some, hey, a, a, a lot of times, and, and um, it's better to just have uh, sufficient, you know, because hey, it could. Having too much money, even though you might not see it now, might be a stumbling block unto you. You know, now you might be getting now you now you're proud now now because everything is easy. You know, you're looking down on people. You know, yeah, you, you never know. You know, so don't don't worry about uh, you know any of that. Just worry. We we should our main focus should be uh, uh, on this truth. You know, kind. If I could back you up, I, I actually got a few scriptures. This is Proverbs. Oh, you got more? Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. It says, but. Labor not for that meat which perisheth, but for that meat okay. which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him had Yahweh the Father sealed. And, and what, what's that? It's truth. So it's better to spend most of your time and have, have your mind mainly uh, 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 upon the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushat. Constantly. Sometimes, hey, sometimes if, you, if you've been working too much, hey, the Lord, the Lord will be pleased if you take a day off just to do his work. You know, you know what I haven't read in a while. You know what I'm gonna take a day off work, you know, so that I could read or and I could just be the whole day spiritual. 
you know they depend you know depending on your schedule but what you're doing is what worried worried more worried about this wisdom than you are money you know Ken this is Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 7 all the labor of man is full I'm sorry Salakia all the labor of man is for his mouth and yet the appetite is not filled you see because things of this world, hey, you're always going to uh, be hungry. You know, you can sit there laboring and laboring and never be full. But see, the, but those that seek after righteousness, those that seek after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the wisdom of the Lord, hey, those will be filled. They will be filled, you see. And and uh, uh, just like the Lord said, you know, uh, uh, you know, if you drink out of this water, you'll never be thirsty again. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but this is Proverbs 30, verse 8, to make a point of what you were saying earlier. Proverbs 30, verse 8 and 9. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the, and take the name of my power in vain. You see? You just want to have enough uh sufficient for the day man all right on this side in this world but you want to labor and gather up as much wisdom as you can you see and you want to get understanding with it as well all right because uh, uh the the what how's that scripture go the the city was uh, delivered because of the the poor man's wisdom you see wisdom brings to life man all right and and not just you but all they that hear you you know what I mean? This is a uh, uh, Sirach Ecclesiasticus also, uh, chapter thirty-one, verse one. Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep. You see, because it's endless. All right. Yeah, uh, there's no uh, uh, real uh, wealth in that. You know what I'm saying? Money's a defense, and that's pretty much what it is. You know what I'm saying? But wisdom. Wow, wisdom, you know, created and does all things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to go after wisdom, man, you know, more far than rubies. So what does it say? Wisdom uh, make it... Uh, make it Friends you... with the most high. Well, yeah, yeah, that. That's but what I, what, what I was going to say, it makes you uh, uh, to be among great men. Yep. So an individual that's poor has nothing because he has great wisdom. Could actually bring them to the top and give them more than money could ever ever will, mm -hmm. you know. So how much more? And that's just based on worldly wisdom. How much more us having this truth, you know? How much more richer? How much more better? Uh, uh, um, it is for us to have that. Because remember, in uh, uh when when uh, uh Jacob's trouble come, you know, people are really gonna realize how valuable this wisdom is, and how important and how better it is than anything that this world has to offer, you know. And 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 what they're gonna be trying to seek it, try, trying to. Uh, 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 but hey, the only the ones that actually labored for it are gonna have it in that day. You know, the rest that spend their time trying to get rich or do do a, a other shit, they're not gonna have it. And and they, they're gonna be as everybody else. You know, uh, uh, like a chicken without their head, man. Along with the poor people they used to look down on. You know, mm -hmm. this is Proverbs twenty three and five. It says, "Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not?" For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. You know, so that's how it is. Money comes and goes. You know, hey, the, uh, the Lord um, could easily take it away. He could easily give and he could easy, easily take it away. So why would you set your, your mind on something that's, um, how do you say it? What's the right word? Tangible? Or something that's uh, that could easily, uh, that you can't trust, that could easily be taken away. You know, yeah, thieves this, this, come steal. You know, uh, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. You can so lose. You can just lose it. The Esau could take it away just because, and it loses its value too. Inflation, mm -hmm. but wisdom is it, it grows in value. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, this wisdom is always gonna uh, mean something. It's gonna abound. Mm -hmm. Um, did you bring out the Isaiah three? Three and six. No, no, I did not. You read that. That's this is uh, Isaiah thirty-three and six. It says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure." 
You know, so this is going to be what's, what's going to keep us stable at the end of days. This really mainly in in this in this uh, destruction that's about to hit this place, but also this wisdom, you know, is is for our times whenever we're under a, a tribulation or anything. This wisdom always helps us in, in, uh, in these times, you know. So you know, and and there's certain situations that that wisdom could do more than 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 money uh, can. You know, for example, hey, the, uh, wisdom could get you salvation from the Lord. Money can't. You can't tell the Lord, oh, look, look, Lord, I got a, I got a billion dollars, trillion here. Just save me. Save me a spot in the chariot. The Lord don't care about that. You know, he likes those men that honor his wisdom, that that, that actually labored for it, that took, that took it serious, that, that, that esteemed it more than the necessary food. You know, exactly. that, that, that's who uh, he wants. And that's the mentality we got to have, you know, yeah, have money. And the Lord gives you an opportunity to get more money, get more money, but know how to, we have to know how to balance it out, you know, balance ourselves so like that. We won't get too caught up in it. And now we're over here trying to become, you know, rich. And by the time we know it, we're over here living this comfortable as life, you know? Yeah. They show you an example in the scriptures. Um, where that wealthy dude tried to buy, uh, you know, spiritual powers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The spirit. <laughs> yeah, he tried by the spirit, right? And um, it's like, nah, man, curse you, man. You know, with you and your money, man, you can't buy the spirit, you know? Right. That that was somebody that 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 was in that spirit of trying to get money and all that. that yeah. Thing, that looked at money as something big, so he thought, oh shit, money always got me everything. Yeah. Oh, I want that. How much? How much for the spirit? Right. <laughs> you know, Paul, uh, I forgot if it was Power uh, or Peter. It was Peter. You know, look, probably looked at him like, what, nigga? Are you fucking crazy? Like, right. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Like, man. This ain't, yeah. this ain't that. This is, this is more valuable than, than, um, um, than actual uh, riches, man. It's priceless. Wisdom is priceless, man. It cannot be bought. It cannot be exchanged with, with the, 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 the wealth, the minerals, the, the resources of this earth. There's nothing in this earth that can buy wisdom, man. It can only be given to you. Yep. This is Luke 12 and 16. It says, And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and, will, and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and marry. But Yahweh said unto him, right? So this is a rich man, right? So he's cool, he's chilling, worried more about money and all that, right? But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? You know, it, it, it could easily be taken away, you know? And the Lord and, and the Lord could do it whenever he uh, he wants, man. You know, so why spend your 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 time and all that trying to be like that? You know, when the Lord could take it away, you know, it's better for us to spend our time, you know, and everything on on this word. You know, the Lord, what well, you know, the Lord is not going to take that away from us. You know, as long as we, the more we spend time on it, the more the Lord gives us. And the, the more the Lord keeps the spirit upon us. Uh, verse 21, it says, So is he that layeth up treasures for himself and is not rich toward Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know? So we got to be rich towards Yahweh Bashim Shai before at all. You know, everything else is secondary. You know? Uh, like like uh, it says in Tobit, you know, worry not that we are made poor, you know, for we have much riches with Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and that's what we want. We want to be rich spiritually, not 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 carnally. If the Lord blessed you to have some type of money, hey, well then know 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 the balance, know know the the discipline that comes with that, and, and hey, and call all your habashim shy, but don't set your heart upon it, man, because that can be a heavy heavy uh, uh stumbling block. Hey, the love of many, I mean the for the love of mo of money, um, how does it go? For the love of money. Um, no, no. I, I, I'll get it. This is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. It says, For the love of money, 
is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You know, so money is not the root of evil. The love of money is the root of evil. That's what makes it wicked. When you, when you, just like anything else, when you put your mind more on, on, cer on, on certain things that are not the ways or, or Yahweh Bashim Yahushai themselves, that's when it becomes the root of evil. You know, so yeah, you know, you know. So with that, you know, just hey, just keep that in mind, you know, and 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 don't get too uh too greedy. You know, be 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 uh be happy with with, uh, with what you have. You know, be happy with with little. So we're gonna uh, hopefully. Oh right, edified. yeah, no, I'm sorry. Real quick, the scripture says, "Be content with food and raiment." You know. Yeah, things that that you just need. You know. Yeah. All the extra stuff don't matter. And with that. Hey, so with that, we're gonna. Uh, hopefully, you're burning. We're edified. We're gonna end it by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yesharala the Ruel, and salutations to Yaakim out in the highways and the byways, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Ababa Ball.